Today we will be making a fireball and it's going to be filtering enabled compatible which means that it's anti-exploit, anti-hack. So first off what you want to do is open up a studio. Alright, I'll just open up my normal tutorial studio so that you guys can see um, do this from scratch. Alright, so one thing you want to do is make sure your explorer and properties are open because these are going to be uh, very important. Now, when we're doing something that is filtering enabled, what we want is a remote event. So go ahead to the replicated storage, press the plus icon and search, search up remote event. Well, just, just put in remote and you should have remote event right there. All right, we're gonna call this the fireball event. Now guys, make sure your um, uh, spelling is exactly the same as mine or it won't work. In scripting, uh, the capitalization actually matters. So, yeah, just a quick warning. All right. So, um, this here was a keybind animation tutorial. If you want, you can go check that out. But we are going to insert a new local script, and then we're gonna call this local script. Um, I guess I'll call it YouTube Fireball Tutorial. Uh, you guys don't have to name it. It won't really affect anything. So first off, let's start off with our services, the services we are going to need, all right? So we're going to need a couple services. Uh, remember these guys, uh, remember green means comment, meaning that you do not have to write this down. Now, one service we are going to need for sure is the replicated storage. Uh, so game get service replicated storage. And then the user input service game get service user input all right next thing uh we want are our default variables uh so local player and character because we're gonna need that character added all right Uh, local and uh, yes our remote event we have to get this guy too so local remote make sure your spelling is exactly the same I'm just gonna say that again just so that you guys um, understand now if you guys need help if it's not working direct message me on discord um, also guys, if you're not from Roblox developers, this video was mainly created for Roblox developers. We recently hit 1000 members. If you would like, feel free to join the Discord uh, invite is in the description below. So what we want to do is using the user input service detect um, a key that's being pressed. So let's, let's give um, our... Um, settings so we want a debounce to prevent spam we also want a key and the key can be Q now guys uh, remember that I will also be making a advanced fireball that means it's gonna have sound effects uh, like a, a lot of awesome stuff all right but we're going to be continuing it off this script so make sure you guys get this script down so that in the next tutorial you guys will understand now, a user input service dot input began connect function input and I like to call the second argument is typing. Now, if if is typing then return n so don't run if it's typing and then local key pressed equals input dot key code. If key pressed equals enum dot key code uh, square brackets um, key then um, 
we actually also want to add the debounce and debounce event. Debounce equals false, set it to false so it doesn't run again. Um, oh yes, one more thing, we need to get the mouse. Local mouse equals player get mouse. Um, uh, what we want to do is we would have to fire server from the remote and we want to fire mouse dot here and yeah that's really it and give it a wait one and debounce equals true so this will be uh you can run this again in one second now this is a simple fireball so there's not much to it now what we want to do is add a script and this one i'll just call um fireball yeah i'll just call it simple fireball you guys don't have to do this but for organization purposes i am so again we'll get our services Local replicated storage equals can get service replicated storage and then um, settings we're gonna give it a local damage equals 10 um, uh, we also need the remote event so local remote equals replicated storage dot fireball all right now when you fire server it basically sends a signal to the server and what you want to do is remote dot on server so on server event connect function uh, player mouse the first argument of a remote event um, on server event is always player so then we can get the character from here local character equals player dot dot character or player dot character added wait uh going back to the fire the local script we also want to make sure the character exists and he's not dead so we don't want someone spamming this when they're dead all right now um uh, next thing we want to do is um, I actually want to take a look at the mouse in Roblox Roblox wiki right the API class mouse just to quickly take a look here um, mouse dot yeah the position all right um okay I think I got this uh, so we want to create our fireball now uh the fireball we can make it we're, we're just gonna make it a nice circle so local part equals instance dot new part part dot shape equals enum dot part type dot ball and i'm just going to go ahead and do all these stuff you guys can just go ahead and copy these down so I'm going to check what the color red looks like the value for it so that I can um, copy it so two five five zero zero five five zero zero um, what else do we need to configure um, material equals enum dot material dot neon uh, what else yes part that size equals vector three dot new three 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 part dot c frame equals character dot humanoid root part dot c frame so we're gonna teleport this um right in front of the character all right and lastly the parent is workspace all right we can also name it so we know that a fireball is being created um 
right? And then down here, what we want to do is um, give it a velocity. So the velocity is going to make it um, fly, basically. So it, we're going to add a body velocity to it. A body velocity dot max force equals vector three dot new. Uh, math dot huge is basically infinity. So it's basically infinite, infinite, infinite. Uh, body velocity dot velocity equals mouse dot. Uh, I think it's look vector. All right, we're gonna have to try this out. I, I don't remember that much, but here, let's give it a speed of 20. Um, body velocity dot parent equals player. Uh, no, um, equals part. Now, what we wanna do is test this out because we don't know if it works or not. So, uh, the, the key is Q, I believe. All right, so it does work. As you can see, we have a nice slow flying orb all right, so you can you guys can change the um, speed. Now this is simple. I want to keep this as fast as possible. So uh, now we're gonna add damage. All right, this is where damage comes in. A lot of you guys in the Discord wanted this. You guys wanted damage with fireball, and I'm like, sure, why not? All right, part dot touched connect function. So we basically detect touch on the part if h dot parent dot net all right uh so actually if h dot parent find first child humanoid so we want to make sure it's a damageable object uh find first child humanoid and h dot parent is not well h dot parent dot name is not equal to your name so that you don't damage yourself um then local enemy actually we're gonna add a debounce so that it doesn't um destroy the enemy uh instantly we're just gonna add an and debounce here so don't worry guys i will go through the script at the end so local enemy equals h dot parent dot humanoid um we want to make sure the debounce is false and enemy take damage so this is a nice function uh, and debounce equals true and we can give it a nice weight because it's gonna deal some damage all right uh, here let's increase the speed by a bit all right and that's really it and so let's test it out before um, explaining the script so that we make sure it works you just just press Q and as you can see it um, you took damage that's really it uh, here let me see yeah so it's gonna go to where your mouse is pointing so if I'm pointing at him it's gonna go towards it should go towards him like it's better in first person so boom uh, we can also destroy the fireball um, so just do part destroy and that's really it so um now that we know what works let's explain the script so back to the local script first we want to get replicated storage the reason we want this is because the remote event is actually inside the replicated storage all right next we want the user input service to detect what input this uh, user is inputting next we want the player um, just cuz why not uh, every local script I always put a player and character just for like cuz like um, local scripts you're dealing with the player so you might as well just have these guys down um, remote yes we need in order to fire the server mouse uh, is the player's mouse obviously that's another reason we need a player right there um, and then to the settings debounce uh, basically a cooldown avoids spam and key the key we want you can just change this so make sure it's a string value by the way user input service uh, so this is the event 
this checks if um, you're actually typing or not because without this line if you're typing the move will activate as well and I don't think you guys want that but if you do just remove this line uh, key pressed just um, a short variable for input.keycode or else we could have done if input.keycode but I just like key pressed because the wording um, if key press is equal to um, key Q and D bounce is true uh, this can be written as and D bounce equals true or just and D bounce and character is alive D bounce is set to false you fire it to the server give it a second and then you can fire it again so then now to the server we set the damage we have the same variable uh, we need to get the remote and then remote and when the server receives the signal we get the mouse so actually when I fired server here I fired mouse.hit that's the position the player was aiming at so that's that um, and then I created a part I created a red part that's shaped as a ball called fireball and it was created character.humanoid.c frame and then I added velocity to the ball so it actually moves and then I added um, a simple damage script like similar to the brick damage one um, when you touch activates if it's damageable and um, the H um, and it's not yourself and debounce then set the debounce to false so it doesn't run again. Enemy equals that. You don't need this. You could have just wrote h.parent.humanoid take damage. And then enemy take damage damage, which is this. It will take 10 damage and the part will be destroyed. Wait one and this will work again. Now you technically don't need this section, but you might as well have it just because the variable was set to false. And that's really it. Now let's give this one more try with the false. Uh, pew 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 just spam a couple of them yeah so they get destroyed when touching a humanoid so this is basically so I, I can just go up to you and be like q q q q and you're dead and that's really it so if you guys enjoyed this um, tutorial then make sure to leave a like and um, please please if you ha guys have any issues, please DM me so that I can help you instead of just raging. I will put this in the description below just because I don't know like if you guys want to like just type this out. But it's good practice typing. So yeah, and that's really it. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, go ahead and modify your fireball however you like. I will be making an advanced one continuing off this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. It's you and I.